continue our journey. Yeah. Is it just me, or, or do I hear a little bit of jingling magic going on in the background? Revelio. Goblin artifact. Horns like this were used gob by goblins during the 1612 Goblin Rebellion to rally troops and generally annoy witches and wizards. This horn was discovered in the aftermath of the rebellion behind the Hogshead Inn. With a wedge of Gorgonzola stuffed inside, presumably to mute it. Wow. Where's, uh... Herbology at here. Astronomy wing, bell tower, grand staircase, south. South wing, I'm pretty sure. Where's the central hall? We need to get to the central hall, it is gone. Closer. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oopsie. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade.
I'm right next to it. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yes, sir. Fluxoid stem. I need to brew the potions. Damn it, that's, uh, that's awesome. Lumos. Rebellion. Hogshead is actually where uh, Elvis Dumbledore's uh, brother works at. Uh. Lumos. Rebellion. Leviosa.
Revelio. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellion. He's like, where'd my friend go? Like, I'll show you. Spent all night to hogs me. <laughs> Incendio. <laughs> Thank you. 
Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver oh, on a Oh shit, it's about to get safely. real. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. Ah, I want ah, them returned in one piece. I think I'm piece. getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead 
Hanover Gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part of it, Griff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And Meowlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. He's already dismissed Carl. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? <laughs> Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still... Because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Golly, she's, I think she's smitten to me or something. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Hmm. Rebellion. Patrick Redding is surprisingly. Strong. I wish I could afford my own room. So of using my brother's hand-me-downs. Have you ever been? I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies. Away from prying eyes and distractions.
Revelio. Speaking of the woman, the man spent talking about a week the car. I'd die of embarrassment if my mother taught at Hogwarts. Don't know how Natty manages. Oh, did you hear about the new spell we're learning in charts? I can't wait. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a laugh with Ronan. How can one not fancy Professor Carlin? She's brilliant with plants, but her energy is captivating. Life is so peaceful. I prefer the three broomsticks to the hog's head. Sarone is a much better conversationalist than Jasper Trout. Rebellion. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barney's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact in the arts. <laughs> nice. Samantha, what's going on? Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Ooh, a 
it's the room we require. <sighs> Let's freaking go, man. I'm excited for this. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. Oh, it's going good. I mean, Professor Weasley's kind of thick. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. By the way, this is where uh, Harry and uh, Ginny gave it the old tongue action. Revelio. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Yeah, it burnt down, but uh... It's, you know, magic happens, or... Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Roger. Just give me a second. Evanesco, that's gotta be it right there, right? Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Yeah, remember uh, Harry and Where all them name flew is through elf? here. Is that goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Down. Some of us are trying to rest. I could frickin' fall asleep with the soundtrack in the room of requirement. Oh my god. Hey, look at this. That's kinda scary that this is in here. You know you guys know what this is? It's like a Isn't it like where they put bodies? I think it's the kind of the thing they put Matilda in there as well, isn't it? See the spikes? The chokey! <laughs> I don't like these eyeballs looking at me though. Mm -hmm. The room of requirement? Yeah, I know. Wouldn't it be nice to have this? Like, anything, basically, if you need something, 
Hogwarts knows if you're missing something or whatever and it brings it here to this room for you. If you need a room for a so for something, then uh, yeah. Is there a port key in there? That'd be cool. I don't know. Rebellion. Actually, let me try something. Oh yeah. Ugh. My gear slots are full. Could sell this stuff, but unidentified item. Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. Yahoo! I've always wanted to use that spell. <laughs> Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. This is like the same music. <laughs> nice. Grab a shotgun. But I swear, if you guys go to the movie, I, I don't know, is it the Order of the Phoenix? No, it's uh, Half-Blood Prince. Um, because... Uh... Ginny Weasley is trying to hide the the book, the potion book from the Half Blood Prince, in the Room of Requirement because uh, Harry's like obsessed with the book, so she hides it, and then she like kisses him in the Room of Requirement, and this is like the kind of music that plays when they're in the Room of Requirement. So I think they did a really good job of that. It's like it sounds so familiar, you know? It's like really nostalgic. I was like, God, this like sounds so good. Ooh, let's trim the bush. If only it were that easy, huh? Grab a shotgun. <laughs> Why is there a toilet? Bit offended the room, thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. I watched Lucas trim his bush. <coughs> Heck yeah. Thank you. 
Why was that so <clears throat> peaceful? How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Revelio. What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. Revelio. <laughs> Oh no, am I stuck in here now? What am I climbing on? That's what I don't understand. I'm a bit confused. Get out of the way. Huh? All right, let's try to figure this out. So for some reason we can jump up there. All right, what is it? Hmm. Accio. 
kind of weird. Leviosa. Climbing on though. Akio. Let me go. Akio. What do you guys think? What the heck is going on? Maybe I messed something up. Is that a golden snitch? Watch. All of a sudden there's like actually a way over here. I hope that house elf can find us in here. <laughs> First... To get to the normal chest in the room requirement, you're going to want to use Evanessa to remove. Seriously. Revelio. Is that what it is? Cast Revelio. Revelio. This box here. Slowly pull the box out. Make sure it remains close to the wall so you can climb up on top of it and get to the first treasure chest. Oh, no, no, yeah, I did that one already. Um, I'm on the second one. This is the golden snitch one. I did the one that you, with the ramp. I slid down the ramp and everything. I pulled the box out. I already did that one. Lumos. Using your value, it will reveal to you two blue crates. So the crate on the right side, the cast Accu to pull it through the furniture. There will be a hole you can crawl through where the crate was, you can cast a pulso to push the box away from the chest. Oh, I don't have the pulso yet. That's probably why. I don't have the pulso, I don't think. Wait, do I? Defendo, Confringo. Utility. Depulso. Repels. Okay, once you looted the room, okay, blah, 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 blah. right side and cast Accio to pull it through the furniture. The behold, you can crawl through where the first crate was. You can cat, you can cast the pulse to push the box away from the chest. So I gotta learn to pulse. Well, shoot. Yeah, I seen. I see the snitch right there. There it is, right there. Accio. 
Yeah, I'm gonna skip this one because I gotta learn to pulse to push this stuff away. Revelio. <laughs> no, thank you. I was like, wait, how does she know all this stuff? Ooh, look at that. What are you doing, Deke? Yikes! Careful! Huh? Ah, oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, well, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Hmm, that'd be so freaking cool. God, I wish this was real, you know? It'd be awesome. <laughs> Deke is so cute. I want him. Little old hairy elf. Wow, look at that. Well, dang, there goes all my chest and stuff. No! You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. 
You have unlocked the desk, desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any identified gear that you have collected. Roger that. Uh, that just makes me want some tea right now. Freaking love tea. Oh my god. Deke, you don't have to clean, dude. Come on. You're at Hogwarts, man. Relax. Mm. It's freaking beautiful. Wow. Okay. Well, use the desk of the description. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay. Revelio. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so giddy right now. Conjuring. Let's conjure stuff, baby. Yeah, that was too easy. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have mm. acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. Let's fucking go, dude. They'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. <laughs> oh boy. This is nice. Ooh, I'm so freaking excited right now. Okay. I don't know what to do. Okay, conjure a potting table, but first I need to... Oh, right here, there it is. Conjure. This is freaking nuts, man. Chance to use room of requirement, potions, items to use, brew potions. Can we see what it looks like? color of the houses, is that what that is? Slytherin. It's beautiful, man. Let's see here. How do I know where to put it? Uh, let's put it over here for now, huh? Against this wall. Yeah, 
That looks good. Right. Eh. Perfect. <laughs> Conjure a potting table. I'm a freaking beast. Let's go. Potions over here. Plants. Wait, how can I rotate? Oh, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. See, plants need sun, so... Bagook! You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Seasonal decorations, man. I'm gonna have this thing loaded up with Christmas decorations. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside? No, probably not. Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But <laughs> the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke hmm. has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. No! I just made that thing disappear, damn it. Golly. Do you see that crap? I made that thing disappear, oh well. I like this spot better right there anyway. Furniture. Got some furniture, decorations, rugs. Let's see here. I could spend hours probably in this room just doing this crap. Ah, poop. Mm. Undo. Huh, there you go. Hey, my OCD is kicking in right now. Oh my god, I think it's perfect. How's that space occupied? Because I'm standing on it? Seriously. Uh, good enough. Sorry, I keep sniffling. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's like I'm losing my mind, I think. Dude, look, they they have all the house colors for the 
I mean, I, I love blue too. Blue's like my favorite color. Boom. I have more to teach you about transfiguration. If you have a moment. Look at that, boys and girls. Now watch, can I make my thing float? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Probably not. <laughs> How about you, Deke? Can I make you float? You're so cute, eating that apple. <laughs> I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I think I already have enough. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. I, say, I got a then lot outside. Begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? <laughs> Party puts them on the floor. A long mirror. Where do you think I was putting it, Jack? Table looks pretty gnarly. Baby chair. A huge chair. Yeah, this is my throne, dude. I'm gonna put this over here. <laughs> Sorry. That was a little weird. Oh god, that's annoying. Nah, that doesn't matter. <laughs> my freaking huge chair. Which and her two house elves.
Oh, actually, they move. It's kind of creepy, actually. What the heck? Oh, I need a conjure. Okay. More of them. Gotcha. I have a good idea for this. What are you doing? No idea. Hmm. He's got four toesies. Did you hear a little eh? Wait. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, look at that. I can get rid of all these pictures. Poof. Kapoof. Let's get rid of this blue chair too. Hmm. Heck yeah. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Yeah, this is it. You can decorate this whole room how you want it. You can even change the room to make it look how you want to. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Oh shoot. Like your bedroom? Oh yeah, that'd be cool. That's nuts.
nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the old spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. That's cute. Little elf chair. <laughs> the hell? Okay, what? Out of the balcony or the floor of the room? Hello. I'll do the floor. I really like the stone. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Shut up. This is crazy. Can you change the color? Oh, you can, dude. This is not Make it pink. Make it blue. Just want to see what it looks like if I do it all the kind of same gothic kind of look. Make it pink. Make it blue. I want an elf to scrub my gutting floors, dude. I'm gonna do the floor again.
Is it only changing that to blue? But those are green. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's try this one again, but change the color. Blue. Hmm, fancy. G. Willikers, Biscuits, and Gravy, dude. Almost done. Ew, ugly wall, spice it up with a little bit of gothicness. Well, even that archway I can do? That's crazy. Hello. Dude. Come on, look at this, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Did I already do that? Yeah, I already did that. <laughs> Ooh. This one I didn't do yet. I do like the owl though. But I do like the Morgana statue too. It's nice. My lamps were even blue. Okay, that's pretty cool. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Ooh, a moonlit amb ambience sounds perfect. I'd like something natural and earthy, dark and mysterious. I like a moonlit ambience. Yeah. I'd like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, sounds perfect. No! <laughs> Let's go! Dude! Quite a difference. Of course, what the you need to keep freak. this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Dude, this game, this is how the movie should have been though too, like, so much magic, there's gotta, there's, whoa, hello, the whole new section, an even bigger space, how did that happen, the room equips itself to your needs, it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. Get out of here with this game! You can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. <laughs> Come on. A moonlit space, too. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's like, <laughs> like, look at all those moonstones. Oh, what's this? So freaking insane. Yeah, I feel like crying right now. Like, what the crap? This is like the game that I've always dreamed of. My own little space for like my Wizarding World space. Oh, there we go, much better. See, because if, if I have those other spells up, all those white outlines came up. Need some more lighting in here though. Hmm. Oh my fucking god, dude, what is this? I'll make it everything blue. Like even the inside walls, like everything. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that matches really good. Now, if only I could just like storm in here or something. <laughs> Even the top part. This is gonna look so good. Yes, I need I need more books. I need to step. He's <laughs> like, yeah. Change the ambience. I wonder what the other ones are, though. I'll have to take a. Whoa. Yeah, I thought it, that was gonna look different, but it does.
<laughs> it knew I needed a, a bigger table. Yeah, I admit this is pretty crazy. So let's see what the other ambiences are like. Where the heck is Scrubby Boy? Eating candy. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Warm and cozy. I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. Mm. That looks awesome too. I can see everything a lot better too. But you have to check out everything else. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. Ugh. It already looks like the Ravenclaw common room. It's kind of crazy. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall? Dark and mysterious. Let's try the natural and earthy. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Mm, a little darker. I don't really like that one. The the dark and mysterious one. I gotta see that, huh? Of course. Huh. Uh, dark and mysterious. I'd like the room. To... Oh, sounds perfect. <laughs> I just skipped it. Watch it get really dark. Whoa. It's kind of like just like the moonlight one, though, isn't it? I mean, it's, I like this. I'll, I'll change the ambience. It depends on my mood, okay? I'd like right now, I, I feel kind of cozy. Of course. Feel a little bit of warm and cozy. I like, the I like that. That one is the best. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do a little walk through here. Bear with me.
That's awesome. Maxima potion. Let's see what, uh, oops, wrong button. The gear. I got like a new robe or something. Dark arch robe. <laughs> a fur coat. What does that look like? See, I, they have the Hogwarts scarf, but it like goes through the robe right there. I don't like that. That robe is actually pretty cool. Oh, gloves. My defense is lacking, man. Wait, what? Did I just take that off? <laughs> if I can make it look like I don't have anything on. Outfits, there we go. Plus 30 on the defense. Brown pants on. I got a Scottish kilt on. What do scarves do? I need to get my defense up. Jesus. But you guys right there, I'm actually going to end the stream right there on that one. I think I'm going to hop on some Call of Duty for a bit before bed. Ugh, I just can't wait to play this again tomorrow. 
Oh yeah, let me collect this thing. Wait, what? <sighs> this magic in here is so good. It, like, every time I hop on this g game, I just feel like crying. I don't know, it's just... My inner child is like, eh. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. But alright, we're gonna end it here in the. You guys been watching me the entire time? Thank you guys. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> Sorry if it was boring. I'm pretty sure that's Morgana. Morgan Le Fay. If you guys don't know who that is, you should look it up. She's, uh. used to be a lover of Merlin. In the old time. Morgan Le Fay. Morgana. But yeah, how do you guys like my uh, room of requirement? Pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of empty right now, but it'll get better. Whoop. Oh, wait, astronomy tower. Oh, yeah, that's a. Uh... <laughs> Deek. I mean, some of these pictures, uh, like, what is this? What is this guy doing? That's a big A snitch right there. <laughs> the same painting? Yeah, I got the other same paintings in the other room. Is that like a snake tail? It's cute. Yeah, I like it. Is it too blue for <laughs> for you guys? Oh wait, I forgot the floor. I forgot to change the floor on this one. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa, that'll ruin. <laughs> hold on. Ooh, botanical. I really do like the botanical floor though. Makes it look cool. Make it blue. <laughs> But yeah, is everything kind of, is everything like too blue? Or... That's alright. But yeah, I'm gonna hop on some Call of Duty, I think. I'm not a fan of blue, but it does fit the lighting nicely. Thank you. I just like blue because of Ravenclaw, but... Who knows, I might change the color to black. Alright guys, thanks for watching, appreciate it. We'll be back on again for part, is it, 8? Can't believe I already have part 8, that's wild. Alright guys, thank you, appreciate it, thanks for staying on watching. I'm gonna hop on some Call of Duty. First I'm gonna head upstairs though and grab some drinks. Alright, BRB. Love you guys.